Now, big change this week. In any economy, you have two sides. You have the um, supply and demand. Supply would be the amount of products available for sale. And demand would be buyers looking to buy those products. And this week, uh, we had a dramatic change in the demand side, which is really uh, triggered by interest rates. Take a look at mortgage rates. You can see there's just a straight drop. Closing rate at 6.4% after finishing last couple of weeks around 6, 8, 6, 9. Almost a half percent uh, drop in the rates from week to week. And you can see, however, that the rates have been in this range consistently over the last year and a half or so. This is the range that will cause buyers to buy. But I've said all along, I felt before the economy they would juice it one last time because the government officials who are in power want to stay in power. And one way to do that is kind of like monopoly, just throw money on the table. Everybody feels wealthier, but inevitably prices go up and you're no longer really any wealth result. But the fact is, if you're going to buy a house today, a payment at 6.4 will buy you more house than a payment at 6.8 or 9. And so any buyer in the market should look at locking rates. If your rates are locked in at these rates, do whatever you can to close those rates. They'll be beneficial for you. So this is a the most substantial drop in rates from one week to next, if you look at that chart, in, in a long time. Now on the flip side is on the inventory. And that's not really changed. Inventory, how many houses we have for sale at any time. And what we've seen is continuing. Uh, here we are. Um, a you know non-pandemic, almost record low. Now, last year was non-pandemic, and we have about 8% more homes for sale than last year. But you can see this year inventory is declining nationally. And last year it was rising, and they're kind of on schedule to meet. So about really about the same level. The only late years with lower inventory were the pandemic years. The lowest years of history of pre-pandemic are way above. And so what it tells you is we still have the lowest inventory amongst the lowest in the history of America on a market sense. And it does not seem to be increasing. As long as that's the case, you can't have a market crash unless you have too many sellers who want to sell. And that's clearly not the case here. So overall, I would say their inventory is healthy, tight, and going to cause a continued somewhat seller's market. Now, alt markets are somewhat local. Here in Los Angeles, I use Altos Research, and they have a market still at a 39, which is a slight seller's market, not as intense as it was in the past, 41, 42. But all the factors still indicate that we're in a seller's market. And that's my experience as a listing agent. It seems like all properties get bids on them still, and there are more buyers uh, looking for properties and there are sellers.